Right, well welcome back to Flight School. This is a very exciting project and this is a development kit that I've had from Angel Wing Designs called the Gentle Gentile Lady. Um, it's based on the original Gentle Lady. Um, I'm going to talk you through this kit. Now this kit is an absolutely brilliant kit if this is going to be your first ever balsa built glider, radio controlled glider. And what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through all the steps. Now, please bear in mind one thing. This is a development clip. And the idea is, is that as I build this, I'm going to be looking for any possible faults or things that I can find to add to the kit as we go along. So 90% of this is going to be absolutely correct. If there are any changes that are made uh, in the future, I'll make some notes in the bottom as we go along in the description. So the first thing we do, we get all our bits out of the kit. And then let's just have a look at exactly what we've got in the kit. And I'll talk you through our first process. So things you're going to need for the kit, very, very simple. Um, my advice would be, is to buy yourself um, super fatic glue. You can use super glue, but uh, super fatic glue is far, far better. A bit safer as well. You can get that from Angel Wing Designs. Also, a real must, get these little what are called capillary tips. These are great for going on the end of the uh, super fatic glue, or if you're using Sino, you can use it in a more controlled way. Uh, the other thing you will need is get yourself a nice sharp hobby knife and if you can get one of these where you've got the replaceable blades because it's always good to try and make sure that you're using a sharp blade. The only other thing you will need is to get yourself some um, pins. So I use these little sewing pins like so, this type of sewing pin and also along the way just grab yourself one of these little nail files. These are perfect for most of the sanding that we're going to do. Um, we will have to do a little bit of heavier sanding and possibly some shaping. And if we do, and then little sanding block like so would be brilliant. So let me just talk you through the kit and everything that's coming with it. So just a quick brief run through of everything we've got in the kit. We've got um, ribs and this is your um, trailing edges. Um, this is all for your fuselage bits and some of the pieces we've got here are for the tail surfaces and also we have um, the this all this section is for the canopy and some of the top decking of the fuselage. There's a couple of um, hardware packs, so this is going to be for your servos to fit in. These are some of the, um, for the fuselage formers. And then also here, you'll notice that we've got um, two for the outer wings and then one in the center wing section. These are your, called your dihedral braces and these are the uh, control horns as well. So also in the kit, is this little bit of um, carbon fiber which we're going to be using for uh, retaining the wings so my advice is you've got a nice sheet here of some of the decking that's going to go on the top and the bottom of the fuselage and we also have um, some nicely prepared wood ready to go for the tail surfaces and for the wing so the first thing we're going to do is let me show you is we're going to get our plan this is the plan for the um, gentle lady. Now, what I've done is I have just added this. I bought myself just a square sheet of this foam board and I have taped this down to the bench so it's all nice and fixed. The other thing I've done at the moment, I just gave this just a gentle iron just to get out some of the creases and my advice is, is if you do that just make sure you put some tissue on the top and bottom make sure that your bench is nice and clean underneath now I have taped around the outside and the very first thing that we're going to look at building is going to be the tail and the fin so we're going to be working on this section just here first now obviously what we don't want to happen is that we're going to be gluing these pieces together and what we don't want is it sticking to the paper 
So you can, if you want, you get yourself um, either some snap wrap or some very clear film. Now, for filming purposes, I don't use the clear film. Um, I'm literally going to use some sellotape, and I am just going to go over all the sections here that where I think it's going to, uh, where the glue is going to go. So let me show you. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some tape across here, across here, and just across the bottom here so that we make sure that any of the areas where we think we're going to get glue so along here and along here along here along here i'm going to just add some sellotape just around all the major gluing areas and you'll see that when we actually get to it you'll see where i've actually taped everything and that's going to stop the glue going down onto the paper so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find um, this is all made from three by three millimeter square bolter stick and we've also got these little tips here to find and we've also got the trailing edge to find so I'm just going to remember these are all going to get cut but this this and this uh, we need to find um, out of the kit now let's just talk about cutting out so the first thing we're going to need is you're going to need a very nice sharp knife and the first thing I'm going to cut out of the kit is this piece here which is going to be the elevator for the tail plane and if you look very carefully you've got just these tiny little bits where if you follow the line that the laser deliberately has not cut so the idea is we just pop the knife in there like so now you'll notice that I'm using this cutting mat you can buy one of these. Um, I've got a smaller version here. Um, also, if you're stuck, you can just use a, um, you know, the board you use for cutting meat, sort of a wood board, or any flat piece of wood would help just to cut this out. So all we're doing now is I'm just going to gently cut this out and just make sure that I've done all the pieces. And I have to say that the laser cutting with the angel wing kits is always exceptional. So I'm just, as you pop it out, if you feel any resistance, stop and just see if one of the, you've not quite accidentally cut through one of the tags. So that one is now cut. Now, obviously we've got just, you can just feel, there's just a little tiny ridge um, on there. So you can, if you want to, if you just, we're going to need to remove these anyway. So just remove those like so, um, that's using a nail file, I've got a very nice little sanding block with some 80 grit sandpaper on there and then what we want to try and do is when you're sanding just try and go up and down don't try and sand in just one spot and then just have a feel along and then that is nice and smooth we will actually be cutting a taper to this at a later stage but at the moment that's our first piece cut out and I'm now going to cut all the other pieces out and then I'll get back to you with all the pieces that we're going to need and we'll talk through the assembly. Just one of Nick's little top tips as we go along. I'm just cutting out these. These are the um, tips for the tail plane with a, a lovely built-in fillet. Now, if you cut one side and you think to yourself that's still not pushing out and I've definitely cut through, just flip it over and then just go through exactly the same cut. I mean, unlikely with an angel wings kit, but if you do find something, and there, there you go, look, that's just lifted out. Right, just to let you know, so this, these two pieces of wood come out of this same sheet from the trailing edge. Um, these have a slight angle on, so make sure you get the angles around the right way, which is brilliant, um, brilliantly cut. So you've got that, and just below it is this, which is the rear. This is called the trailing edge. So you've got the leading edge, the trailing edge. These two pieces here, these are called, these are the wing tip. Then you've got your center section there, and obviously we've got our trailing edge as well. So I'm now just going to quickly clean these all up. Another one of tip Nick's top tips, um, this little piece, the trailing edge, is obviously quite long and it's quite flexible. Now my advice, I wouldn't sand it like so because it's quite thin to get hold of. If you get it at the, just sit it on the end of your bench, get your sandpaper and you can either use one of these 
or this little sanding block that I've got and you'll notice I'm just going to sweep it away but I'm supporting it with my other hand what you don't want to do is don't sweep backwards if you sweep backwards you'll catch the wood you'll lift it and break it so my idea is is I always just sit it on the bench for some support and then just a couple of wipes either side just have a quick feel and that's lovely right so I have got all my basic pieces out and we've cut we've sanded them we're ha very happy with them so we don't need this is not being glued but I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to put mine in place like so and the reason being is is this is going to be great support in helping us line this up so I'm just going to get mine I've got some these pins and I'm not don't poke them straight in poke them in at about a 30 degree angle and what you'll find is is that helps to keep it fixed to the bench if you put your pin straight in what will happen is is it's very easy for it to lift so this is now going to be so remember this isn't getting glued so the idea now is I'm now going to offer all these in place like so like so and then when I'm happy with everything um, we are going to do some gluing that's going in there like so that's going in there like that and then making sure that we've got these angles right that's going to drop into there like so and that going into there when I've got the right angle that goes onto there like so so I'm now going to glue all of these together and what I am going to do is I'm the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to fix these in place the tips in place and then bring the center section down and glue the center section and the tips um, to this trailing edge stringer now I'm not going to glue sorry I'm not going to pin the trailing edge tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push it gently against the wood like so and then what we're gonna do is like that and then we'll move this one down into place like so and then that will be glued this will be glued this is glued to this because what we don't want to do is we always want to try and avoid if we can by putting um, pins through major structures if we can help it so I'm going to glue this I'm going to glue this in place like so like so and then we're adding the leading edges so I have glued this to here and these tips. Now what I have done is, all I've done is I've pushed against it and then when I've got it in place I've just put a pin in there to hold it so it's actually compressed up. And now all I'm going to do is exactly the same with these. Make, remember, make sure that we get the angles right because these are angled like so. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to add some glue to this section here and glue to this section here and I'm not going to pin these all I'm going to do is I'm just going to gently put some pins up against it so also when you're using this glue you don't have to go mad um, literally it's just a little bit like that that's all I've done and remembering that this is going to be glued at the end so you want to add some glue at the end and some glue now good tip here make sure you've got yourself a little bit of tish little bit of tissue kicking about so that if you have a little bit too much glue like I've got just there just get yourself a little bit of tissue just wick it up like so and just give that a wipe off 
So I'm very happy with that position there. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to push that in place. And I've just pushed a pin there, not through the wood, but just in front of the wood. I've just pushed the pin and I'm going to do exactly the same for here. Like so. There you go. Now, final piece, remembering to glue the end that's going to fit on there like so, and I've nearly forgotten to add the glue to here. There you go. And that pops on there like so. And then that, oh, look at that. Superb. So all we're going to do is get a couple of pins and we're pushing one pin onto there. These glues work better if they're under a little bit of compression. Now, that is our basic tailplane construction done. Now my advice is Right, that is your basic tailplane construction is done. Um, I would just leave this for 10 minutes just for the glue to tack up. Um, these glues are done within 20 minutes already. So the next thing we're going to do is we can start looking, as while this glue is going up, we can start looking at getting hold of your, this is your 3mm by 3mm bolster. This comes in a pack. This is not pre-cut, so this is in a pack. And now what we're going to do is we're going to gently offer these up and we're going to, I'm going to show you how we're going to cut the angles and then we're going to slowly infill these sections okay now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add these cross bases. this is basically a form of geodetic now what i've done is i have just slid that piece of wood up there this is the three by three millimeters and all i've done is i've got myself a little piece of sandpaper on a block and I actually just sanded the angle. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to hold that over the end like so. And there's a number of ways, and I'm sure there'll be somebody who will say, oh, that's not the way I do it. But literally, I am going to hold that over there like so. And I am just going to make a small mark with the bolster, with the knife. And I've just made myself a little score line. Then I'm going to take it to the side of the bench and then with a lovely sharp knife, I've now cut that to that angle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that in there like so. And boom, there you go. That's the first one done. <clears throat> so I'm now going to just glue this in place. Um, if you've got the angles right, you shouldn't have to pin them, but if you do, you might have to. If you can avoid pinning through, but just pinning them in place by putting a pin next to it to clamp it, here's a little tip. What you can do is, sometimes if it won't hold in place, you can get one pin like so, get another pin the other side like so, so it's at an angle, and that will hold it in place as well. So that's the next thing for you to do, is just slowly work across here, doing the angles. And then as you glue them, I would just literally cut and glue, cut and glue, and then very quickly you'll find that this wing is being done. So I'm just going to slowly carry on doing this. Now, the other thing you'll notice is, is that where we've cut the angle, <clears throat> and if you pop that on there like so, eh, voila, that angle is perfect. So all I'm now going to do is going to hold that in place. I'm going to look over, score it with the knife, and then that's our next uh, long run cut in. Well, brilliant. We have made our tail plane for the uh, genteel lady. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be making the uh, fin, which is right next to it on the plan. And we're still gonna need this um, 
piece of wood here and we're going to cut all these pieces out just as I've shown you already so cut all those pieces out just be careful with the little tip I said about sanding so with these particularly these long strips just make sure that you get them on the bench and just gently sand away from yourself if you sand towards yourself it will literally buckle up like so and you'll break the uh, part so just get all your bits out from here and then I'm going to show you how to glue it all together but well done okay so I have sanded all my bits and pieces for the um, fin and I've just gently pinned these two in place and then I am going to glue either end in place and uh, let me just show you so what I'm going to do is add that to there like so that's what I like about this applicator as well is you can actually use it to spread the glue you don't want to go mad nice thing about this glue is is it goes off in about 20 minutes but you get a little bit of working time so I'm just going to get this here drop it into place and then I'm going to slide it right up to where it should go like so now now we'll show you a little tip when we've got this all glued up uh, to make this nice and strong oh, hang on get that in the right angle Nick there you go and then I'm just gonna push that up tight there you go now, so what we'll do is we'll infill with our um, three uh, millimeter square wood. So we're going to do exactly the same as we've done here. We're going to infill, but I'm just going to make the rest of this frame. Now, remember, these two pieces do not glue together because this is going to have a hinge in it. OK, so there is the basic frame for the fin. And now all I'm going to do is I am just going to cut the angles just as I did before uh, so you'll be experienced at that now but that's all we're going to do is we're cutting the angles exactly as we did before uh, like so and remember if you cut them slightly long you can always just sand them to shape right oh we're all excited we've done our tail plane we've done our fin now let me give you a couple of bits of advice so the first thing is if you find that in some of your little joints you might have the tiniest little bit of a gap don't worry let me just show you a couple of little tips here about what we can do with those gaps and also how we're going to remove it off the bench let me show you right so if you've got yourself um, perhaps you've got I haven't but let's just say I've got a little bit of a gap what you can do is if you just get a little bit especially with this little tip we can just very in a controlled way put a little bit of glue round there which will wick into the hole then what we can do is get a little bit of tissue and then you can soak up the surface now not really advisable to do that with super glue or um, cyanoacrylate. The reason being is um, this particular glue and this glue and any PVA glue is very good to sand with. Um, unfortunately, um, super glue is not that good to sand with because it's harder than the wood. So what you'll end up doing is you'll find yourself removing the wood and not the glue. Now. My advice is, if you've been using this glue or this glue, just give it at least a good hour to dry. Now, top tip now, when you're removing this, particularly the pins that you've got in the, uh, it's actually in the wood, grip the pin, give it a twist, look where I'm support, got my finger by the pin, and then pull like so you see where if I've got this one here I put my finger by it I give it a twist and then pull 
if you happen to have any glue around there it's going to break the glue I mean we haven't really done any glue around these joints but it's something you really must get used to so when you're taking them out put your finger right by the pin give it a twist and then pull finger by the pin and then pull so we've very carefully taken all our pins out remembering put your finger by the pin twist and lift one last thing don't try and lift even though we've used a plastic covering don't just try and lift the wing off uh, the plan because you might find that the glue has just got a little bit tacky with the foam the foam with the sellotape <laughs> right so this is my little top tip for making sure that you get your wing or you get any structure off of your um, plan so here we go I've got one of these blades you can actually use if you wanted to I've got an old credit card here this is actually a screw fix discount card and all I've done is you can just lift this underneath there like so and then slide it round now I normally use a blade like this and we just pop it in there underneath there and I just gently slide along there like so there you go job done look at that and exactly the same with the uh, tail surfaces I'm going to pop that in there like so, just run that under there. It's only just, it's, it's tacky to the, um, the sellotape covering, but you're just being careful. If you get any resistance, stop, but there you go, look. And that's our, oh that one's just stuck down there, there, now brilliant, my advice now is I would lay these somewhere flat and if you can, good idea, um, even if it's just a little a ruler, a good idea is if you just leave those with a little bit of weight on them and I would leave those to dry overnight. One other last thing, just when you flip them over, just see if you've got any little sort of um, sparse areas and you think to yourself, oh, I could just add a little bit of glue there. So now's the time to do that. Brilliant. You've made your first primary, you've made your first primary flying surfaces and we are done. So the nice thing about this, if you think about it, You've done a quarter of the kit already. So there are some things that we need to carry on doing with this, but this primary structure is finished. Leave this overnight. If you can, just leave a little um, weight on it, somewhere on the side of the bench. And then the next thing we're gonna look at doing is building the wings. So I hope you enjoyed this um, build video. Please like and subscribe. And the uh, next video is going to be building the wings.